Welcome to the Amparfait. This is a verb tense which beautifully describes past events, past settings, or an action that began but was interrupted. When I was five, yesterday it was raining. I could run for hours in those days. I was eating my sandwich when, my mama always said. The Amparfait and the Passé Composé are verb tenses which are used to describe actions which happened in the past. However, recognizing which one to use can be difficult when translating from English to French. Here are some examples of famous movie quotes, sentences which contain a mixture of passé composé and imparfait. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. They didn't agree on much. In fact, they rarely agreed on anything. They fought all the time. And they challenged each other every day. But despite their differences, they had one important thing in common. They were crazy about each other. And you really did it. What? Everything. The house. It's beautiful what you did. Well, I promised you I would. I wrote you 365 letters. I wrote you every day for a year. You wrote me? Yes. It wasn't over. My mom always said. Knowing when to use which verb tense can be tricky, but we will examine that in another lesson. For now, let's try to remember that the Amparfait has several key defining moments. One, when you are describing a setting in the past, it was raining, the sun was setting, the birds were chirping, etc. Two, when you describe an action that was happening, but that was interrupted by a different action. I was riding my bike when, I was baking cookies when, I was singing to myself when, I was eating at Menchie's when, etc. These generally include the ing in the word, such as I was cooking, I was laughing, I was dancing. Three, when you use the line, when I was blank years old. Four, a repeated action that may not necessarily have the letters ing, but often takes the form of I used to. I used to walk a lot. I used to give money to charities. I used to go to all of his games. I used to shop there all the time. Conjugating the verb in French can be slightly tricky. The nice part about the imparfait verb tense is that generally, with the exception of reflexive verbs, there are only two words, the pronoun and the verb. The first part of the verb is the translation or the meaning of the verb. The end of the verb is where the sense of used to comes in. Here is an example. If I wanted to say I was singing or I used to sing, both would translate as je chante. In this example, je means I. The C-H-A-N-T, the beginning of the verb, means to sing, and the AIS more or less translates as used to. So if you were to translate je chante component by component, it would read like I sing used to. One of the benefits of the imparfait is that the endings are the exact same as that of the conditional verb tense. Once you memorize the endings, you have already then put in the work for another verb tense. What are the endings? Je and tu have A-I-S. Il and elle have A-I-T. Nous has I-O-N-S. Vous has I-E-Z. Il and elle have A-I-E-N-T. Knowing what the root is for each verb is a bit complicated. ER verbs are our best friends. We simply take off the ER and then what we are left with is the root. For example, the verb parler, to speak. I would take off the ER in parler, and then I would be left with P-A-R-L. This would be my root. This is what I would add an ending onto. RE verbs are the next best thing. We take off the RE, and then we are left with the root. For example, the verb rendre, 
to give back. I would take off the RE and then what I am left with is R-E-N-D. This is now the root that I will add my ending onto. IR verbs are a little bit more complicated to conjugate than ER and RE verbs. Instead of trying to remember a trick to conjugate IR verbs, let's now look at the general rule of how to conjugate verbs in the imparfait by using the present tense. Unfortunately, some tricks work better than others, and sometimes it's better just to follow the general rule or pattern. Technically, to conjugate the imparfait, the rule is as follows. Drop the ONS ending from the present new form of the verb and add the imparfait endings. Être is an irregular verb in the imparfait because the present tense new sum has no ONS to drop. So it has the irregular stem E, T and uses the same endings as all other verbs. I find that many people struggle enough to remember the present tense form of the verb. You might prefer to memorize the rule or memorize the pattern. The choice is yours. However, there are still minor exceptions and small letter changes, so even the rule will have exceptions at times. Here is a brief list of what commonly occurring verbs' roots look like in the imparfait. As you can see, the conjugation rule applies. Drop the ONS ending from the present new form of the verb. Once you have your root chosen and you know which ending to add, then all that is left to do is to combine them. Finally, let's look at the pronunciation. You will be pleased to know that most of the endings, despite their spelling differences, sound the same. Look at the verbs and listen to how the endings sound, regardless of the spelling changes. Je voulais, tu voulais, il voulait, elle voulait, nous voulions, vous vouliez, il voulait, elle voulait. Good luck! This concludes our Amparfait video.